Good afternoon, everybody. I have on Priceline the 1750 call. Now, this is a 60-minute call chart that 99% of you uh, option traders uh, haven't seen or used. And the low on this price was $8 a contract, and we went up here to the high. And today's high on that contract was 2426 And this is the call option, the 1750 call price line now. When we get over here to Priceline, I would just like to point out to everybody <clears throat> that Priceline had gapped down $17 on that opening bell, and it did. And we went from 1773 to 1774 on the high. That was an intraday price range in Priceline of $41.34. pennies. Now I'm going to blow up the weekly chart on Priceline and the big money players moved in on Priceline and you can clearly see that we're starting this week out right here and it has a three week topping process into it and it too like the rest of them in this bull market is is that we're going to pull back and that we're going to take a look and, and that we're going to give out the 10 week simple moving average on Priceline which would be a healthy pull back in a bull market that's going to be 1688.89 that's this blue line and it's been rising the whole calendar year so was the S&P um, as well and so was Google and so was Amazon and all of them have problems on their weekly charts uh, Priceline has not uh, had that problem but what we are telling our people is that we're coming down and no one's going to stop it and today was a great day for the bottom up on, on, on the movement and that the uh, price line um, level two here, you can clearly see once again um, exactly what was going on in here with that $41 range and then how to trade those options off of the bottom. And we did. And it had a Market huge data connection lost. Um, gap down. So... When we started out the morning with the rest of the markets getting killed, uh, Priceline went Market straight data down. Connection so what we are saying is, is that Priceline will pull back from its bull run. It started here on the 20 week, which is a red line and the 10 week, and they've been rising. The farther apart that they are, that's why the uh, pullbacks are going to be strong. But we're gonna go right through here and we're gonna come down here and we're going to be looking at buying the put side now because it's clearly at a three week topping pattern. I'll throw the S&P 500 in here just to let you people see, uh, which we already did that 10 week moving average S&P went below it. Um, I'll throw in another one so you can see it as well. Here is the 10 week uh, moving average and this is Google when it had its big reversal. It's below the 10 week. When we take a look at the S&P 500 for the first time, we're below that once again. I'm just gonna say it. We're below that 10 week today and they came in and they bought the dip. But let me tell you something. The dollar price ranges in these things um, are uh, doing what every market should do meaning that uh, you get these big price intraday ranges, that's when a correction starts. And it's definitely started here with what we have going on um, today uh, with the big downside in these markets and people that wanted to get a buying opportunity, they jumped right back in here. I am going to show you what the gap down on price line was. Um, the high is right here okay and basically this is an after hours and price line was making another move higher in the after hours market so that you can kind of see where these things are happening and that these corrections start with the big uh, bellwethers and like any good bull market you know this is a very bullish chart but once again when you're in a bull market, we have to pull back and don't get caught. But there was a lot, a lot of money made on that call chart today. And so once again, learn how to trade the turbo option trading way.